this is Grinstar, and today I am looking at Melody MIDI tools. MIDI Melody tools. But a major bit measurement. At any rate, I am going to go through five, count them five, Melody tools. Riffer, Phrase Box, Scalar 2, which is more for chords, but we're going to use it for Melody today. Captain Chords, Captain Melody Epic, and Melody Sauce. And we're going to go through each of them, talk about their strengths and stuff like that. These are the ones that I own. Let's go to Riffer. Riffer is cool. Audio Modern makes this. And basically, this is kind of like you put it in a rule set. The rules are around the interface here. And you kind of dial in the rule set. And then it produces what seems to be random melody, uh, random MIDI. Like I said, there's rules. You can do your different scales. You can do which notes that you want in there. If you want a whole bunch more notes in what you're seeing, you got steps, you got shuffle, you got a whole bunch of things you get it. But the strength of this is producing really random melodies. Really random. So next is the one that, one that I also like for producing melodies. It's Melody Sauce. This one, you figure out if you want a simple melody or complex melody, or you want all of them possible. If you want a light melody or a dark melody or all of them. So you've got a kind of a grid. This has a whole bunch of options in there. Plus, you can tie it to chords and stuff like that in the advanced editor. It's kind of cool. You want harmonies. Do you want to... I think I have to put this on MIDI. And so I'm going to press a button. It's going to go into here. And when you play it... it press it again thing about this is that if you lose if you press a button and you lose and then say oh man i really like that second one they still got a history you can go back to the history and go oh let's hear that second one again and if you like it you can drag and drop it onto the thing and and have the, the midi there for you to, to have later without having to have the tool up and, and going this one's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I use it every now and then. I especially love these tools when I'm trying to go through presets of a synth to try to get an idea of what they sound like. This one's really cool. Although I get kind of get tired of the melodies, but it's okay. I'll just press a button and it'll change it up for me. Really cool tool. Next on the list is we have Scalar 2. And this has a performance mode where you can turn off and on. And basically, turning it on, you have access to several different, they call them expressions, but you can do performances. And so here, let me pull the keyboard up. These are kind of handwritten. They're, they're not random, or at least I don't think they're random. They're performances, so they're... Kind of like MIDI baked into the to, to the tool. And they got different types of things. And basically, if you're not familiar with this tool, you put down the chord that you want down here. And, and you can write, I have this set to right here where it, it you see this blinking over here. This kind of gives me some quick press keys to pl play on the keyboard. And you can see that kind of light up. That means I'm pressing C2 on my MIDI keyboard. And, um, it, and it's playing the performance or melody. It's also playing this key. Because this one lights up also. So it's, it's playing this chord right here.
we're we're looking for we're looking for uh, melodies, not rhythms. Oh, there we go. cool i really like scalar it's uh it has a whole bunch of features packed in it helps with the chords it helps greatly with my chords i'll go you'll see me go into it every now and then awesome little tool very cool next up is is i i have scalar feeding into phrase box phrase box is something like a arpeggiator where it takes in the chords and it produces something different with them a lot of people will say that they produce their melodies by taking the chords and just producing with it. Phrasebox is kind of doing that for you manually or automatically. And of course, I forgot to move my solo so we can... Let me look at Scalar here for a second, and you'll see the chords. I'm using this chord, this chord, this chord, and this chord, and it's set up kind of like it. The performance is turned off. So right now, it's just going through the freeze box here. And so I can I can change it. It's got a drop down. You can have different kinds of things. So let's go into Melodies. This also randomization function also. Again, much like the other tools, this has a lot of rules written to help you with the producing of the randomization so that it can help you come up with some new wacky or interesting types of variations of what you're doing. This one, basically what you see here is the rules of the chord. So this play, anything that shows up over here, it plays the first chord, the first note of the first, the, the first note of the chord, second note of the chord, third note of the chord, fourth, and so on until the eighth. And then these are all, all the chords are played, either the high one, the low one, the first one, the last one. I think quiet and loud, I don't really, the quietest note and the loudest note, well, it says down here. Fixed parameter and then random. But you can draw on it, you can you can remove it, delete it. Pretty cool little little handy tool for, for taking and doing something more than ar uh, arpeggiators or ar arps. Alright, the last one on my list is Captain Melody. Captain Melody is a part of the Captain Plugins type suite. And basically you set one of the cool things about this is kind of like Scalar. You set up the chords ahead of time in Captain Chords here, and they got tools to help you with the 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 rhythm and the which what chords that you want. You just pick a spot, you select a chord, and then you go. It's pretty cool, pretty easy. The cool the cool thing about this is that the different plugins. If I were to change the chords, you would see it change back here, and it kind of links up with all the tools. They got a tool for basses, they got a tool for melodies, they got a tool for programming drum patterns. So what you do is you just click on here and it will come up with a suggestion of that melody.
much like all the other tools, it's got rules and stuff like that for trying to generate your melody over time. This one, again, uses kind of the kind of like the phrase box one did before. It uses the chord to help pan out the melody. I think this is one of the few that actually require internet connection. And I, if I remember reading correctly, it goes out to the internet and pulls down the melody that it needs based upon the chords that you got. So it has some sort of server that it pings to. Pulls down. It says, hey, I got this core combination. What can you suggest? The server suggests something. Pulls it down. Pops it into your thing. Cool part of this is, is that you can drag and drop MIDI out of this. And you can drag it into this. This this uh, has two-way MIDI drag and drop. Plus all kinds of other tools. I think it's kind of worth it if if you're kind of like me. And you're, you're not so experienced in creating your own melodies. Or you don't have anything in there to kind of to help you along or or it's just not interesting enough and you're you're kind of not confident it kind of helps with that it, it helps a lot with it and it produces some really cool stuff and or use it as a learning tool to say hey what other kind of interesting melodies could i come up with all these tools will help you with that some of them a little bit more random than others but overall it'll get the job done for what you're looking for overall Wanted to go over all of the tools that, that I think are kind of the top ones in my mind. These are the ones that I purchased with my own money. I like them. I like them a lot. And they some of them, like Melody Sauce, I've had over the years. I like it, and I use it quite a bit. Captain Chords is another one. And Scalar, it, it, originally it was a, like a toss between Scalar and Captain Chords, and I got actually both of them. just took me a little bit longer to get them. Because I think originally I got, I got Scalar, and then I got Captain Plugins. And I'm kind of happy with both. They all, they, every one of these have their own niche in my mind of what they're good for and what they, they do. And realistically, hopefully this video conveyed that in my mind of what each one of these kind of do. And then helps you think about if you don't know about them or if you haven't heard of them or if you don't know what they're, you know, <laughs> each of them I have a lot more to cover. Like, you could probably do a whole video on each one of them themselves on, on in their functionality, but I kind of wanted to go over what I thought were the strongest parts of each of the the VST MIDI instruments or MIDI MIDI uh, tools and, and why I like them. At any rate, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, and I will catch you later.